had to ask you this before we get out of the ring here. Let's see, I do what they need to do. Did you know Teofilo Stevenson at all? Uh, yes, I knew Teofilo Stevenson by what he had done and achieved and being a four-time Olympian. I offered him a million. I wanted to know, was it you that offered him yeah, the million dollars I, I, I to fight Ali? I offered him a million Ali. dollars to fight Ali. And I said, we well, you know that's just the beginning. You know, we're making go to higher than that. So I don't want you to get stuck on that and refuse for the million because at that time they were fighting for freedom. But he was loyal. He was loyal to Cuba and he was loyal to Fidel. And so and this is what he did. But he he stayed in the amateurs and he stayed there. He would have had a been a five time, but you know they went on a strike and whatever. And they knocked him out by not being able to participate. And so that's what knocked him out with Tio Fortio Stevens. What a you great wanted, guy! You wanted he was uh, you know everybody said that pound for pound he would have given Ali a run. Yes, you know what they all said. And Mar you know what I love about Muhammad Ali? I don't care if the guy was an excellent fighter or a guy was a, a not too excellent fighter. Ali always made him to be big. Cause he told me say. Why are we going to go in there and say this guy is a bum or this guy is not this and that? He said, then that means I ain't beating them with a bum. He said, I'll make them all giants. And the ones that give me a tough time, they be fulfilling the prophecy. And the ones that don't, I'll be done, just took them out. There was a tough one, but I got him before he could get tough. You know what I mean? I always wanted to know, though, that if you were the guy who I, put the million yeah. dollars up. Oh, absolutely. Without any question, it would have put up two. You know what I mean? Because when I gave the fighters five million dollars apiece, you know what I mean? No, it was unheard of in that time. But it opened doors and broke down barriers for all of them that came behind me in baseball, football, hockey, whatever it is. They all started asking for more money because everybody was making the money be a trash. And so if you say a million dollars, oh, they would interview the million dollars. Oh, they're going to get a million dollars. I can't mm -hmm. believe this. A million dollar fight, a million dollars this, a million dollars that. You know, and they forget who it was that made it an investment worthwhile to get the million dollars. I changed that. The attraction became the most important. And so then, but using that, I said, now, what you do is you invest recruitment to the investment of bottom line profit. I said, dude, this warrant 10 million. That's what I had to tell to Mabuto. You know what I mean? And so I got Mabuto there and it warranted, you know, 11 million, whatever mm -hmm. it to do. Then I got another from, uh, from Liberia. I got him, you know what I mean? And he, had, he, he came in and he put up the money for coming. And I know that um, I remember his favorite line, famous line was that a um, million dollars, what's a million dollars compared to the adoration of eight million people? You know, when, yes. that's, that's what uh, that's what Stevenson the people. said. You know, it, he, the, he, he, was, he, he didn't take the fight. He, he but but uh, when I had, if I could have got to him personally, I said. What would you said to him? I would have said the eight million people are the muy importante. El pueblo. Say, mucho gracias por su apoyo to get a mucho el pueblo. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Eight million people would mean more along with the million dollars as something that would right. take care of the expenses. I say, and you can help those who are the downtrodden and denied, those who are underprivileged, you know, with the money. I say, so let's do it for the people. That would have changed him all the way because yeah. that's what he said. He didn't want to do it because what is a million dollars when I got all these people because somebody gave him the flip side of that yeah. where he could have them both, the people and the million dollars. And he sadly died last week. Yes, week he did. Ago. I, I remember really him. Yeah. You know, John Dunn said, you know what I mean? Every man's death diminishes me because I'm involved with mankind. Yes, and so Tio Fortio Stevenson. Oh, man. Woo! You like the it in here. Rope of dope, you like man. it in here, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you know, everybody was hollering at Muhammad like Ali. In, in 1970, 74, everybody was screaming, get off the ropes, champ. Get off the ropes. You know what I mean? And Foreman was just out wailing and beating him and going on. And Ali was moving all around. And Punch himself rose. out. I, he right? did it. Rose to the cage. Yeah. yeah, he rose to the cage, you know what I mean? And then we was in there throwing Manila, you know what I mean? I have to give Eddie Foot credit because he didn't want Joe Frazier to get hurt. And he threw, yeah, he threw, he threw the, the towel. towel for him. It was amazing. And Ali said that's the closest he ever came to death. You know what I mean? Ali said that. Yeah, Ali said that when they fight with Joe Frazier, you know what I mean? 14th round, you know, they're fighting like mad dogs. Was he your closest? I mean, who, was, who were you the closest to as a, as a fighter? Uh, as a fighter, Larry Holmes. Larry, Larry Holmes, Holmes, yes, you know, you know, as a as a human being, Muhammad Ali. Because mm -hmm. Larry Holmes was fighting and he was fighting for Larry Holmes and trying to find and gain fame and influence, you know, in the mm -hmm. present thing. Ali, 